Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 40, AWS CloudFront Part 1, Create the Distribution. In this episode, you'll learn exactly what is a CDN, how to set up an AWS CloudFront distribution, and then how to add a CNAME for your domain name in case you wanted to use the subdomain CDN dot whatever your domain name is. If you want to code along, you'll need a domain name registered and an AWS account. Also, if you want to check your configuration, you'll need to have your app deployed somewhere. You can check out this Ruby Snack to set up your AWS account. That's Ruby Snack number 31, Deployed AWS EC2 Part 1. This is more of an explanation episode, but hang on, I am going to show you how to do something at the end, but hang on, lots of explanation coming up. What is a CDN? A content delivery network, or a CDN, is a system of distributed servers, a network, that deliver web pages and other web content to a user based on the geographic locations of the user, the origin of the web page, and a content delivery server. So there's three things involved there, where the user is, where the server hosting the web page is, and where there's a server with the content on it. This service is effective in speeding the delivery of content of websites with huge traffic and websites that have global reach. The closer the CDN server is to the user geographically, the faster the content will be delivered to the user. CDNs also provide protection from large surges in traffic, and that is from webopedia.com. So yes, a CDN helps speed up your website, delivering things that take a while to load, CSS files, JavaScript files, image files, those things will be on the CDN and not served by your server. What is CloudFront? CloudFront, a product of Amazon Web Services, is a web service that speeds up distribution of your static and dynamic web content, for example, HTML, CSS, PHP, and image files to the end users. CloudFront delivers your content through a worldwide network of data centers called edge locations. When a user requests content that you're serving with CloudFront, the user is routed to the edge location that provides the lowest latency, or time delay. So content is delivered with the best possible performance. Everything I just said there wrapped up again in the description of CloudFront. Here's a little bit more explanation. If the content is already in the edge location with the lowest latency, CloudFront delivers it immediately. If the content is not currently in that edge location, CloudFront retrieves it from an Amazon 3S bucket or an HTTP server, for example, a web server, that you have identified as the source for the definitive version of your content. So if someone in that edge location hasn't been to your website before, that is when CloudFront is going to go and store those files in that edge location. Let's create your CloudFront distribution. From the AWS Management Console, click on CloudFront. You'll click on Get Started under the Web section. You'll enter or edit the following settings, especially the origin domain name, wherever you're hosting your app, and click Create Distribution. Here are a couple of optional settings you can put in right away, or you can go back and add them later. If you're adding a CNAME, you can enter that under alternate domain names. And here's an example, cdn.example.com. If hosted on Heroku, or if you're not having your Apache or Nginx serve your static files, you'll need to click on the option Allowed HTTP Methods, and be sure to do Get, Head, and Options. That's going to allow a core setting then your cached HTTP methods will turn on options. And if you're allowing the download of assets, you're going to want to compress those so you can compress objects automatically on. You'd really want to use that if you're hosting a whole bunch of assets that people can download, free PDFs or images or other things, and you have them in an S3 bucket, you're going to want to allow the CDN to go ahead and compress that for you. Makes the download that much faster. Opening up our browser, I'm logged into Amazon Web Services and I'm going to CloudFront. And then you create distribution. And then go ahead and get started underneath the web section. I'm going to enter my origin domain name. And these lovely eyes tell you what each section is all about. And it wants you to choose an S3 bucket or a server hosted there, but you can certainly just put in your own domain name. I'm going to put rubythursday.com, scrolling on down, 
We can leave most of these things alone. Here's where we want to make some differences. We're going to move this to get head options so that we can set up our cores configuration later. I forgot to do this right now, but go ahead and click options. I went back and edit and change that later. And again, all of these things you can leave just the way they are. If you wanted to add your C name, this is where you would put it. I'm going to put it in there as an example, cdn.rubythursday.com. And again, here's an explanation for you. Oops, I misspelled .com. Let's go ahead and make sure it's correct. And scrolling all the way down to create distribution. Now this takes quite a long time, at least 10 minutes or longer. So I'm going to go ahead and set up our C name instead. So here we need the domain name for our CDN, our CloudFront CDN. So I'm going to copy that. After you copy it, you'll go to your DNS management page, click add CNAME record, then point it to the CloudFront distribution. This will be different for whatever DNS service that you're using. Note, if SSL is installed and redirecting all to HTTPS, you will need to purchase an SSL for the CDN subdomain as well, unless you've already purchased a wildcard SSL, which I'll probably be investing in the next time I renew the Ruby Thursday SSL certificate. So I'm going to show you this option, but keep in mind, if you have SSL, you may get into trouble. I'll show you on GoDaddy since that's where Ruby Thursday has the DNS service. And it's gonna go under this section, the CNAME section. I'll just go ahead and add a record. And oh, it was under the text section, but I will change that to CNAME. And the host is going to be CDN. That's all you put there. And then I'll add the CloudFront address and finish. And then GoDaddy loves you to reconfirm this. I'm not sure why. Let's go ahead and save those settings in case you made a couple of them. And that's done. Now let's see. Now it's time has passed and it is ready. Let's go check it out. I've opened up Ruby Thursday and I'm going to inspect the page. And I'm going to go into the head and grab the name of one of my assets. Because the asset pipeline is on, it's created that big long name for my CSS file. So I'm going to copy that and put it in a new browser, but we're going to change where it is. So we've put it under cdn.rubythursday.com and it shows up. So again, you want to change the beginning of it, not from your site, but adding that CDN or whatever your CloudFront URL is right before assets. In the next part, I will show you how to set up your Rails app to now use CloudFront. Thank you so much for watching this Ruby snack. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up. If you are not subscribed on YouTube, click that big red button right there to do so. If you have any comments, leave them below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.